And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'll be going over positional hero promo that should be coming in the near future, what to expect, kind of how the promo over, like the overview of the promo, as well as I'm going to be throwing here today as well going over my predictions for tomorrow's golden tickets i'm gonna put them together instead of making them two separate videos now as far as that goes golden tickets tomorrow we're gonna be getting three um who we're gonna be getting so i'm predicting them. i'm gonna kind of go over their stats and what we can expect out of them as well as i will be going into talking about positional heroes now guys before we get into today's video and i talk about positional heroes please go down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on the bell boys come join the family Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and like the video if you haven't enjoyed the content. Now, guys, position here are super fun. Should be a ton of 99 overalls if they do keep the same trend. Could they do 98 song? Yay, possibly. But I really hope they end up sticking with the 99 overall trend. Now, the way this problem pretty much works, it's just pretty much like a hero from that position. So, like, 99 wide receiver that, like, embulks this year. Now, Madden's a little weird. So, like, if they already gave, let's say, like, Michael Thomas 99, could be like, oh, let's pick another wide receiver like Julio instead, or they Julio got a golden ticket. So I couldn't pack it, but I'll give you guys my best like quick overview. It won't be a prediction video, but I will be going over some of that stuff. But we'll be heading over to Madden 19, show you guys the positional hero sets, and then after that, golden tickets. All right, guys, so we're real quick while everything loads up and goes up. I want to show you guys some of the card art and stats real quick because that probably won't be on the older Madden. So as you guys can see, for wide receiver last year, there was two of them because there's, you know, typically you can play up to three wide receivers in the field, even four actually. But for Madden purposes, they usually always do like two uh, wide receivers and two cornerbacks. So Michael Thomas and T.Y. Hilton were the choices. It tells you their stats in the back and some of their, you know, you can see their actual stats. I'm talking about like their in real life game stats. It tells you why he got this card. Led the league interceptions at 125. Now this card wasn't too great. T.Y. Hilton was super fast. This card was actually pretty good. We got Kyle Juice Chick. I can never say his name. Don't kill me. Nick Chubb, Russell Wilson, Andy Lee, Jamal Adams, Eddie Jackson. You guys get the point here. It's kind of similar to team of the year. It's like team of the year, except, you know, it's a, it's a position based instead of like team of the year based. It's very similar. It's just some of the best players at each position that haven't gotten cards yet. It's very, uh, very self-explanatory. But some of these cards were awesome. Like Jalen Ramsey was like a 99 all across the board. I remember a few of these guys that were really good. Chris Jones was really nice. Great pass rush, great block, shed great speed. Kevin Zeidler was a really good lineman. Jamal Adams was insane, actually. There were some really good options here. Some weren't so great, but most were, and these were all 99 overalls. But now let's head over to the sets, show you guys everything. Yeah, so we are here. So what's going to be important is the way you make these players. Now, in older Maddens, no joke, some of the best ways to make coins were always waiting for positional heroes. Now, the reason for that is people always have full binders. And come positional heroes, you would just have so much excess players. People actually, to this day, ask, ask around, they'll literally say, should you sell base leagues? They'll be like, no, 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 I always hold them for positional heroes. Does that still hold true? Let's find out. But back in like Madden 13, Madden 25, 16, positional heroes would drop and that gold, that gold back of quarterback for the Buccaneers that you have in your binder that suddenly goes into the uh, quarterback Manning set suddenly goes for 200k. That was back in older Madden. Now, the effect isn't as great, but still, you can still see that in this. So let's see, wide receiver Michael Thomas. You need to collect other wide receivers in the game. So remember that if it's an 80 to 83 overall wide receiver, that includes Robbie Anderson, Muhammad Sanu. So, like, low overall receivers will rise in value. Now, this isn't as good as it used to be because now it's just random receivers. So you can put anyone there. So, they'll rise in value, but not a ton. But in older Maddens, it would be like uh, Muhammad Sanu, 75 overall silver card had to be in that set to complete it. So, out of nowhere, they'd all go from 500 coins in the block to 40K. And they would skyrocket. There used to be this left end on the um, lines that was like in 72 overall. You used to go for like 300K. Used to be super fun, but again, save your base leads and stuff for this promo because things will go up a little bit because you will need them to complete sets. That's very simple. It's all based on the position. So for this, it's going to be all kickers. And they do require some high pieces. So if you really want to, guys, these high pieces could get pretty expensive. Like 96, 97 overall, like Ultimate Legends and stuff that are super cheap right now. They probably will go up a bit when this does drop. Won't be the exact date. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but this promo is usually super, super fun. Now, just to give you guys some examples, like for wide receiver, will we get a Michael Thomas? I I'm not entirely sure. We already got a Julio, we got a Thomas. Could we get an Odell? We just got one for the combine. Like, there really isn't. Oh, we got one from the draft. My bad. There really isn't many guys who are that need an upgrade at this exact moment. Could we get a Tyree Kill? He hasn't gotten one since uh, Super Bowl, so that could be a possibility. A lot of wide receivers have gotten their card though. So what to expect from them? I mean, it could be, it can go any way quarterback we had russell wilson for the team of the year so he could potentially be a guy that could get it because we haven't gotten him since january 
but you guys get the point of it. It's going to be players in that position that haven't gotten cards in a little bit or don't have a high enough overall, so they can keep filling out their overall boost in the way they usually do. Now, again, to go through the rest of this, there's positional hero collectibles. So trade in your position hero collectible tokens are in a fantasy pack containing one free offensive or defensive 99 position hero. Now, last year, I believe they did two things. You got one for free from house rules, and you got one for free for the solos. So remember, the solos as well are usually super cool. They usually give you an opportunity to get um, players at those positions that you need, as well as a free player. So if we do get another free one for house rules, that'd be super fun. A free 99 overall player, I will not ever, ever complain about. So hopefully we do get that, as well as some cool solos to go along with it. I mean, will they change things a little bit? Probably. Maybe they won't make it so it's any wide receiver. It might go back to being specific people. But they saw the issues with that in years past. That when you do that, you really kill the market for certain players. And then at that point, they're like, oh, that's not even worth doing the set anymore. It really used to hurt the promo. So I understand why they do it now. Because you're not, you're not finishing a set for a guy who goes for 700k when... And that's why these used to be so expensive as well. When one piece alone goes for 400k. It never made sense. You just keep these cards super. That's why the game used to have some super expensive cards back then. But they've kind of fixed that, and I don't think we'll be going back to that anytime soon, so don't expect that. But it pretty much wraps up what to expect and kind of how this promo is going to work. It's going to be positional players, best their position based on what Madden needs at that time, as well as collecting lower overall cards. Remember, that would be this is probably going to be a great time to bind your clean out more than likely just because of the um, the amount of players that will be necessary to be bought at that time. Especially if the players are really good, guys. These cards could go up quite a bit. I mean, the players are ass. But they're gonna be 99 overalls I, I suspect i don't think they're gonna drop a whole promo of 98s because that would really suck like i'm done with 98s we got enough of those give us some 99s we have a 99 overall power pass that we just really can't use yet so hoping that we start getting some more options for that and yeah that I mean that promo should be coming out pretty soon it should be really fun guys it did come out last year around the end of april going into may sometime around now so i do expect it pretty soon but guys that is about it for this part. Let's go over to the golden ticket aspect of it. The first players that I do believe will be getting a golden ticket tomorrow will be golden ticket Taylor Mays. Now, guys, this golden ticket Taylor Mays is supposed to be one of the greatest cards on defense when it does drop. We got the actual confirmed stats here, as you guys do know, because people did get their cards. The ones who made them got their cards early instead of having to wait for them. So now they do have their cards with all the stats revealed. So first, one, I think tomorrow's going to be Taylor Mays. Six foot three safety. Great height. Like the ideal height you want in safety. Speed gonna be a 99 with chemistries so that alone max speed chemistry is 99 with excel max out again tackle gonna be 99 with chems play rec gonna be about a 98 pursuit gonna be a 99 man coverage gonna be like a 91 zone's gonna be a 99 hit power is gonna be a 99 this card is going to be amazing it's gonna be super fast great catch of speed gonna be be able to jump like 10 feet in the air and get interceptions gonna have play great zone got amazing chemistries like universal coverage enforcer he's gonna be the most do-it-all linebacker type safety in the game that you could actually play with i'm super excited for potential taylor mays card will i be able to afford it probably not we already know this though they're way too expensive but it's still gonna be a fun card to have in madden you know theoretically if you actually could afford it but most people won't be able to not gonna be fun to go up against gonna really shut down the side of the field I'm super excited for him to come out, though. I think that will be tomorrow's golden ticket, or at least one of them. There's still two more, of course, which I'll go over in just a second. All right, guys, next on the list, I think will be Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson would be probably the best quarterback in Madden, guys. This card actually is better than Michael Vick by a mile. Like, he actually maxes everything. Guys, this is Lamar Jackson is going to be the greatest quarterback for the rest of the year because he's going to max out everything. And his other cards, like behind the card stats, like Juke and Spinner, probably going to be 99 as well. And Agility, this card's going to be absolutely crazy, guys. It's going to be so insane. Now, this Lamar Jackson is what I hope we get tomorrow. Now, this card's really not going to be affordable by like any means necessary. So, with Sprint 3, this Lamar will have 99 speed. With Go Deep and John Madden passing, he will have 99 throw power. He will have 99 throw short. Unless you... Or, or, or there's two things. You can either put... I'd recommend, actually, probably you go um, West Coast or Go Deep. Either one are great, but with John Madden passing, with Go Deep, you end up with 99 throw power, 99 throw deep. 98 throw mid, 98 throw short, or West Coast you end up with 98 throw power, 99 throw short, 99 throw deep, uh, mid, and 99 throw deep. So, essentially, if you sacrifice one throw power, you get all 99 throwing stats, and then you also end up with 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, and 99 play action. So this card will have pretty much 99s across the entire card. Plus, on the back of the card, you have 99 agility, 99 juke move, 99 acceleration. This card's going to be the greatest running throwing quarterback combo we've ever seen in Madden. I'm super excited for the potential for this card. Like. If you can match up with this card online, you probably lost. 
This card's not going to miss a throw. He's not going to be caught up to. He's going to outrun you. He's going to juke you. He's not going to. He's not going to do anything. He might fumble a lot, but this card's going to be absolutely crazy. I'm super excited. Now, the guy who made this card probably like everyone was clowning him, saying like, "Oh, you know, waste of card." Well, that guy got the greatest quarterback in Madden. So, I mean, good for him, honestly. That card looks it looks incredible. I hope I have a chance to pull this card. I obviously I won't, but if we do pull this card, obviously that'd be crazy. But we're not going to. But still super excited now let's get over to the last guy that i think could be coming out tomorrow the final card i'm hoping for is gonna be reggie white now this reggie white left end is going to be amazing six foot five 84 speed now with sprinter again gonna get that with john madden and sprinter he's gonna get to an 87 speed as well as like an 83 acceleration going to have 99 strength already 99 tackle 99 player rack, 99 block shit 99 power move 99 finesse move this card's going to have all 99s regardless of what you do to him so pretty much with everything with excel and everything's gonna have 87 speed 94 excel max stats across the board going to be the greatest pass rusher run stuffer in madden right now with pretty good excel regardless of it only being 84 speed he's still really great guys but this is what i'm expecting tomorrow now that's about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed from you to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn on the bell boys from join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already like the video and comment down below i'm out peace